Hello viewers, oh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, papillary carcinoma of thyroid. You know, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos. You know, to support this channel. Uh, now I come to the topic. What is uh, uh, like uh, uh, papillary carcinoma of thyroid cancer? You know. Uh, but before that, we need to understand what is thyroid. You know. Well, the thyroid uh, is the shape of a butterfly and uh, it sits uh, above your collarbone at the center of your neck and uh, its function is uh, to secrete the hormones uh, that regulate your metabolism and growth, you know. And the unusual lumps on your neck can be symptom of thyroid problem. And uh, most of the time the lump is uh, benign and it's harmless, you know. And it could be a, a simple buildup of like uh, excess thyroid cells that have formed a mass of tissue, you know. And sometimes the lump is uh, a papillary carcinoma of the thyroid, you know. So there are five types of thyroid cancer. Uh, papillary carcinoma is uh, uh, the car papillary carcinoma is of the thyroid. Uh, this is the most common type, you know. And this cancer is the most common in adults uh, over the age of 45, you know. So the papillary carcinoma of the thyroid is a slow growing cancer that typically develops in only one lobe of the thyroid. And when caught, it's nearly, it's early stages, uh, the cancer has a high survival rate, you know. So it's important that it's detected and diagnosed and uh, treated at a very early stage, you know. And now, you know, the papillary carcinoma of the thyroid is generally symptomatic, which means that uh, you don't have any symptoms, you know. And you might feel a lump uh, on your thyroid, but most nodules are, uh, that are on the thyroid, they are not cancerous, you know. But if uh, you do feel like a lump, uh, you should still see your doctor, you know. And uh, they will be able to give you an exam and uh, order the diagnostic tests if... Uh, they suspect, you know, the thyroid cancer, you know. Uh, the exact cause uh, of the papillary carcinoma of the thyroid is unknown and uh, there are many genetic mutations involved but uh, uh, more research is still needed to confirm uh, this hypothesis, you know. And, uh, but there are some risk factors which has been identified, you know, like uh, exposure of the head, neck and chest to the radiation, you know or uh, maybe uh, this happened when more often uh, before uh, it's not common now but uh, um, before the 60s you know it was very common you know because uh, uh, during the treatment and the x-rays etc you were highly exposed to the radiations you know uh, the people exposed to the nuclear disasters are those who have lived uh, 200 miles of a nuclear disaster are at high risk, you know. And they also need to take like potassium iodine to reduce their risk of developing cancer, you know. Uh, the next thing is about how do doctors diagnose? Well, your doctor can diagnose uh, papillary carcinoma of the thyroid using variety of the tests, you know. And uh, a clinical examination will uh, like uncover any swelling of the thyroid, you know. And the nearby tissues and your doctor will uh, uh, then perform a, a fine needle aspiration of the thyroid you know? so just to see is it a bit so this way we will take a small piece of those growths you know to see under the microscope and this test is called biopsy you know so it will uh, help the doctor to diagnose and the blood test like TSH and other tests you know they are also helpful and ultrasound of the neck you know and the thyroid scan, these are the tests your doctor will use to uh, diagnose the thyroid cancer, you know, and biopsy as well, you know. Uh, after your diagnosis, your doctor will uh, stage the cancer. And staging is a term used uh, for how doctors uh, uh, categorize the severity of a disease and the treatment needed, you know. And the staging for the thyroid cancer is different than other cancers. There are stages one through stage four, you know, in order to have, uh, uh, like ascending severity, you know, and the uh, uh, staging also takes uh, into consideration uh, a person's age and the 
subtype of the thyroid cancer you know staging for the vaporized thyroid cancer is like uh, the people who are under the age of 45 in that in those people you know in that age group you know the stage one means that the tumor is uh, any size and may be in the thyroid and may have spread to the nearby tissues and lymph nodes you know and the cancer has not spread to other parts of the body you know uh, if the patient is under, under the age of 45 and the stage 2 means that the tumor is any size, the cancer has spread to other parts of the body like lungs or to the bone, you know, and it may have spread to the lymph nodes, you know. So there is no stage 3 or stage 4 for the people under the age of 45 with the peptidic thyroid cancer, you know. But if age is over 45 years, you know, in that case stage 1 means that the tumor is under 2 centimeters, okay. And the cancer is only found in the thyroid. Now the stage 2 means that the tumor is larger than 2 cm but smaller than 4 cm and is still uh, localized. You know. The stage 3 means that the tumor is over 4 cm, has grown slightly outside of the thyroid but has not spread to the lymph nodes and the distant organs. You know. And the other tumor uh, is, uh, or, may, or, maybe in the, or if maybe the tumor is any size, may have grown slightly outside the thyroid and spread to the lymph nodes around the thyroid and the neck and it has been spread to the distant organs you know. and the stage 4 means the tumor is any size has spread to other parts of the body like lungs and bones you know and it may have spread to the lymph nodes so this is stage 4 and this is the most advanced stage you know of thyroid cancer now the next thing is what are the treatment options well uh, the typical treatment uh, after thyroid cancer includes surgery, it includes chemotherapy, radiation therapy, thyroid hormone therapy and targeted therapy. So these are the five options, you know. But it depends on the severity and the age of the patient uh, and uh, your doctor may advise uh, more than one treatment options, you know, at a time. And uh, if the peptidic thyroid cancer does not, uh, have has not spread uh, the surgery and the radioactive iodine are the most effective treatments, you know. And if you have thyroid cancer surgery, you may have part of uh, part or all of the thyroid removed, you know. And your doctor will do uh, this by making an incision in your neck when you are under sedation, you know. And your doctor removes your entire thyroid. So you will have to take supplemental thyroid hormones for the rest of your life to manage the like uh, hypothyroidism, you know. And then the other option are the radiation therapy and external radiation and uh, like uh, internal radiation and uh, chemotherapy and uh, thyroid hormone therapy and targeted therapy, you know. So these are the other treatment options, you know. Uh, the outlook for the peptidic thyroid cancer is excellent if you are diagnosed at early stage. And the early detection is the key to treating a disease. So see your doctor if uh, you doubt that you have any lump or any kind of tumor around your neck, you know. So it is the best to see and to uh, get it evaluated as soon as possible. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. The link is below, just below this video. Thank you.